So this is before. It's hard to tell because my driveway is at a slant, but there's a sag in the back. This is before the $100 solution. Now this is after the $100 solution. Tubians, I found the solution. It was a little over a hundred bucks. Can't beat that. So there's a website called eTrailer.com, and they sell basically a solution for damn near any car for towing. So if you're what you're towing with is sagging in the back because the trailer's too heavy, they have a solution for that. That is perfect for a base head that goes extreme and just loads a wall in his fucking car. And our suspensions can't handle that. So, um, yeah, it was like 110 bucks shipped, and like this was literally made for my car. This this adds a thousand pounds, uh, like more of resistance. Like it, your suspension can take another thousand pounds. Um, it was a pain in the ass to get him in there. Luckily, the guy at work helped me out and fucking killed it for me. But, um, yeah, so my whole goal was to get my suspension right. I was telling you guys in the last video so I can go to the show this today in Fresno. It's like four hours, four and a half hours away. I really wanted to go, but everybody was working, so it's just me and my daughter today. It's cool. Not worried about it. So, because next season... I want to have my upgrades and move up in classes. Um, so I got the DS18 hooligans, the 15s. They're like damn near 100 pounds each. I'm picking up another base 8K at next weekend's show. And then uh, I'll start working on some batteries and some wire. I'll tear this bitch apart and make it pretty. But I want to make this a quick video. Look at, look at the bike my daughter picked. Yeah, so we got our bike. Need some bouncy balls. I'm gonna go pick up my wife. Go to John's Incredible Pizza. Have some fun. So let me show you this stuff. Airlift. Took the front brakes off. I'm gonna use the front brakes on a bike. Got her some extra tubes just in case. Always good to have. So airlift, one thousand. And all it is, you can buy the compressor, or you can just run a line with the nipple wherever you want it, and you can fill it up as, as you want. See, so look, up to a thousand pounds of load leveling capacity. Airlift 1000 gives you the ride comfort and safety you need, whether loaded or unloaded. So, what comes in the kit, you can buy all kinds of extras for it, like that. But it has the two bags, and they feel great. Um, there's a spacer that you put over the nipple so that doesn't get smashed. It's got a little T. Here's your air valves. You get two of them in case, you know, like let's say you put, you have a wall with driver's side port and most of your weight's on the right side. You can fill these up separately, fill one more than the other one, and level your car out. These things are dope. And they have another set, which they're black. And they're the 5000s. But you have to put brackets on to hold them. These are for coil sprung cars. They have a ton of stuff for cars where their suspension is inside of it. These are for coil sprung. What I do want to do is get a, a gauge. I like to run it inside my car. But it has, they have like wireless remotes and air systems you can buy. These things are badass, dude. 2008 Scion XB. And I'm telling you, if they make a kit for a Scion XB for towing, like who the fuck tows with an XB? They have to have a kit for everything. Go to the uh, eTrailer.com, type in your car or truck or whatever, and they'll give you the solution. Now the air, the Airlift 5000, I have one of those. I came up on one. 
and the it's made for a truck and i looked under my car if you can weld and you're crafty you'll be able to figure out something with their systems no problem super easy install you know you put it up on jacks till your wheels are fully extended um taco it up this didn't really work we lubed the shit out of it and the guy at work was able to get up in there and do it basically did the whole thing for me i helped but if it wasn't for him i would have been struggling super simple install dude see like let's say driver's side port and you got four 18s on this side you could fill up one bag more than the driver's side you'll be good but the airlift 1000 lifetime limited ride control so here's the load lifter 5000 so they're warranted for life all right let's go play with it difference and it's suggested always have at least five psi in it that's completely flat right there so now let's fill it I'm gonna empty it again because I feel like you can see it better on this side.
So this is where I put my nipple. Let me get another spike for it like I have on my tires. run a line. I have lots of slack in it. You can fucking run it to wherever you want. So when I originally had up on jacks, these were a lot lower. And um, I haven't cut the line yet. That's why it's all, but it's fine with me. So that's full 35 psi max so uh, I found that I like 27 and a half okay I'm gonna let the air out so you guys can see it See, and they're already starting to form to my coils. He's only been in for two days. You can see the spacer on the bottom, on that last ring of the coil on the bottom. So it's said to do them from the top, the nipples. Um, but I, I just didn't, it didn't seem right. I felt like it would've got smashed and I didn't know how to run this just seemed easier because there, there's a big ass hole in the bottom of the mounting plate. So. So that's maxed out. So let me reset this. So we're going to do 80. Once my upgrades are in, I'll get a better heavy duty rated tire. But just having this um, like help with the suspension, it took a lot of strain off my tires in the back. That's the correct PSI in my car, or in my tires. Pretty bad. I know it's because it's cocked that way, but. So yeah, I redid my rotors. My sway bar link. 
do my ball joints. And I did my tie rods and brake pads. My outer tie rods. Hopefully I help somebody and give somebody an idea. I don't, I don't think you guys understand how excited I am. My car handles, drives, hits bumps. Like, of course, because I redid all that stuff in the front end, but having that help on the suspension in the back has made my entire car handle 100 times better. So, Airlift is the company. I got them at eTrailer.com. Um, and there's people, you know, customer service online that you can message with. And uh, I messaged somebody for a little while and <clears throat> told them what I had in my car. And I had a wall, you know, I put 400 pounds of subs in it. And yada, yada, yada. Is this kit the best thing for my, my car? He said, I'll be cool with this. So, and my plan was is if this wasn't enough, I was just going to leave them in my coils. And then, you know, tweak and craft out and fucking get uh, the 5,000s in there somehow. Um, but it's working now. When I put the new shit in, who knows, that might change. But I'll keep you guys updated. Remember, airlift at etrailer.com. Deuce.